Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to go over um, just a quick, easy setup for the ME or the ME interface, the IO interface. Um, what I want to do here is show a way I come up with of utilizing one interface to send tasks to multiple machines. Uh, the benefit of this is instead of having multiple interfaces for each machine you have one interface for all of a single machine type so let's get let's get cracking um, so I set up a, an ME just a simple ME setup here um, I've got some sand in there um, I created a an encoding pattern for glass and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that guy we're gonna set up some machines and we got people playing in the background. Uh, what we want to do is we want input top, output the back. Now this general setup can work for applied energy or uh, um, IC2 as well. So let's see everybody set up. Okay, and then what we're gonna do. Uh, put so now they're all powered. We're gonna put item ducts up top and item ducts on the back. I need a cover. Let's grab this guy here. And the cover you're gonna want to put. Let's see. I already placed those, so let's do those. Uh, you're gonna need a cover right there or whichever side you want to do. And um, so another item duck there and what you're going to want to do is on top of him you're going to want the ME interface and then what you're going to want to put up here now I typically put a chest uh, the reason I put a chest here is because uh, you can set your covers here and then um, When you set your wall up, it'll look like it'll look like that, and you still have access to uh, the ME interface behind it. Um, the other thing you can do is, um, if you need another ME interface, you can put one either right here or right here. You can also put um, or right uh, well, not really. I was saying on top. But I don't think this guy. Yeah, see, he doesn't open when you do it up there. Um, but you can put an export bus as well. Um, but the other thing you can do is, if you really need that many, um, you can put another chest here, and then um, you've got room for an ME interface there if you want to put it in the back, or another ME interface there. Now let's go with um, how I was setting things up. Um, so what you're going to have need to do is um, all those are set up as input, but you need to put a servo here, and then we're going to wrench that to output. And here, um, I set the stack size to one, and then turn it on. Now what that's going to do is it's going to first it's going to send one at a time. The next thing we need to do is set this up to round robin. If you look at the top you see it says round robin. Now what that's going to do is when items get put into this chest and um, they come they get pulled out with the servo it's going to go one 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 and then it's going to send the second one over. Now the other thing we need to do is all these need to be outputs. Um, we don't need servos on the back because um, thermal expansion can output the back so then um, all we need to do is run some cable and what I will generally do is I'll run the cable along this line and if you have a whole wall if you've been watching my um, uh, let's play um, I'll just run cable along here to the next ME interface you can put a wall here, you can put a separator here, or you can put it right next to it and then just put a um, 
put a cover to separate the two environments. Now as you see I've got a dropper here. Now if you want you can put a dropper here and then you end up with a solid block. But you won't have access to the ME interface which you can just add a pathway in the back and then you have some type of closed loop. The benefit of this is obviously you have a closed off area. Um, you can use any type of block that can hold stuff in it and it'll get pulled out. So when I come over here and oh, I didn't put the pattern in there. So when I come over here and I go, hey, I want to craft a stack of uh, glass. It's going to kick off. So it's going to start putting it. And as you can see, they're all getting filled up one at a time. Some reason I always see the first furnace getting a couple pieces more than the rest and I'm not sure if that has to do with how the round robin works and it just kind of gets funky <laughs> I don't know um, but it pretty much evenly distributes so it's not bad um, but that's how you can use one ME interface to supply um, all your machines now with IC2 um, all you need to do run power at the bottom and then on the back um, apply a servo on the back of all the the item ducts that connect to the IC2 machine and it works just the same and there you go I hope that helps if you enjoyed the video please leave a like leave any comments you like to let me know whether or not you want to see more of these if this was up your alley or if it was just a waste of time alright guys take care and have a good one